God. Amen. Hallelujah. Darkness, darkness is like hovering around, but you know what? Until grace found us, until grace found me, then light. Hallelujah. Ang ilaw po, ang liwanag po ay nagbukas po. So today, I like what I always promise that every first Sunday, I will be sharing mostly of uh, doctrinal issues. And so, um, I'm going to talk about, I, I guess this is one of the hardest message, messages, messages that I have uh, given, I will be giving. It's about the mark of the beast. Siguro naririnig nyo na po, you maybe have uh, some information like uh, we have a lot of um, information and misinformation in YouTube. It's about the mark of the beast. So Lord, right now Lord, please um, be with us and we open our hearts, we open our minds, oh Lord, so that your word may come in. Thank you, oh Lord. We ask Holy Spirit to give us wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Muli palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. So may I ask everyone, if you have your Bibles with you or ball pen po, isulat po ninyo mga verses. And if you can screenshot po, dito po sa atin pong ano, medyo hindi masyadong malinaw. But anyways, naan po naman po yung ating po mga references. Amen. Ready na po ba tayo? Magsabing amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, this uh, pandemic brought about by uh, this COVID-19 church uh, caused us a lot of uh, things like anxieties, uh, worries, confusion. And ito po sa Christian community, ay tayo po yung na-confuse about this uh, vaccine. Ewan ko po, sino po yung, yung nagpa-vaccine na po rito? Nako. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. <laughs> Kinabahan eh. No? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Nako, parang 666 ah. Hallelujah. It also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand and their foreheads so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark, which is the name of the beast or the number of its name. This calls for wisdom. Let the people, or, sorry, let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. That number is 666. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. At marami pong nag -aalala. Nung una pa lang, ayoko magpa-vaccine, ayoko magpa-turok. Unang-una, takot talaga doon sa pagturok, eh, no? yung sa hiringgil niya. Eh, no? oh, haba. Oh, pangalawa, takot tayo, naku, baka yun yung ayaw, mark of the beast. Oh, praise the Lord. One month ago, our President Rodrigo Roa Duterte threatens to arrest the persons who don't want to get vaccinated. Ewan ko po kung narinig niyo po yun. In his talk to the nation, in his dismay, kasi pinakihinaan na po siya ng loob eh, parami ng parami. He warned the public to get vaccinated or he will put them to jail. Sino pong nakarinig po noon ng ganon? Ikukulong ko yan. Ikukulong ko yung ayaw magpa-turok o magpa-vaccine. And on Friday, just this Friday, July 30, he made another announcement that for those who refused the vaccine, they would rather stay at home. Okay, manatili ka na lang sa bahay or else they will be escorted by the police to go back home. Ganun pa rin. Nakita po natin, it's because of this pandemic, nagkaroon ng lockdown. Nagkaroon po ng iba't iba pong, hallelujah, mga hindi po natin alam po dati. So, so, it led our nation into different speculations, even into Christian community. We are being given a very slim choices. Konti na lang, konti na lang yung bibilin mo kukunti na lang yung iyong pupuntahan. Yung mga nag-schedule uh, ng kanilang bakasyon, yung nag-schedule po ng kanilang pagpunta uh, sa ibang bansa, dapat magkikita yung kanilang family and yet ito po ay napigilan dahil nagkaroon po ng lockdown. That was last year, that was March 15. It was my birthday actually. Kumain pa ako kami sa mall noon. Pagkatapos ng lockdown na, hindi pa ka makabili ng mask. Ewan ko po kung nagkaroon pa ng ano, parang, ang tama na, parang nagkaubusan na ng mask. No? At pag wala kang mask, nako, hindi ka pa papasukin sa mall. Parang, 
Bakit kaya may threat, ano? May threat. Na may pag-uusapan po natin dyan. Hallelujah. Notice that today, we are to follow rules that were unknown two years ago. Like face shield, barrier. Imagine po, dahil po sa kaguluhan po ng gobyerno natin, nagkaroon ng barrier po, pati ho dito sa likod ng mga motor. Naalala niyo po yun? Eh, na ano lang eh, na-criticize lang ng mga, ano eh, netizens eh. Imagine, magkakaroon ng barrier dito sa likod ng motor. Di po ba, hirap na hirap. Ang hirap yung makap doon, lalo ang mga aksidente. Ay, ano wang? Ano yun? Dito ka lang sa, ano, sa NAPSA, ano. Okay. Swab test. Alam ba natin yan? Two years ago. Swab test. Only follow rules. Sorry. Okay. Only 10 to percent allowed in the religious gatherings and things like that. Our freedom gets limited. Very limited na lang. Di po ba? Bago ka pumunta sa isang ano, sa isang uh, probinsya, kailangan mo mag-swab test. Bago ka pumunta, kailangan meron kang pass. Ano nga yun, sweetie, yung pass tawag? Quarantine pass. Kailangan pumunta ka sa barangay. Ang dami. Dati kayo po, pag kayo nag apply ng trabaho, pupunta lang kayo sa NBI, sa, pol sa pol polis, sa barangay, para kumuha lang ng mga, uh, mga tawag nito. Uh, basta ganun. Opo, lahat po yan. Ay, ngayon kailangan mo magpa-swab test. Ay, magkano swab test? Almost 4,000. Eh, mag, imagine, mag apply ka sa Jollibee, tapos yung sweldo mo, ganun din lang. Di po ba? Hallelujah. Oh, praise Lord. Alam niyo po, tapos ngayon pandemic, ang dami rin pong na-depress. Marami pong nagpakamatay. May mga sikat. Meron yung isang drummer ng banda po, nagpakamatay. It's because of depression. Di po ba? Dahil po, dito, nagkaroon po ng takot. Listen, church. Whoever will be the next leaders. Ito po, tandaan po natin. Siguro nag-iisip po yung, ay, ang iboboto ko ngayon, kailangang kristyano na. Ah, ang iboboto ko yung may takot kay Lord. Ah, yung iboboto ko ay yung ganito para alam niya yung word of God. Listen, whoever will be the next president or leaders, kahit sa ibang bansa, okay? Hallelujah. We are still heading to the mark of the beast. Doon pa rin tayo pupunta. Whether we like it or not, whether we believe it or not, it can't be delayed. Hindi po yan i-delay. Sigurado pong papunta po tayo doon sa mark of the beast. Hallelujah. Mamaya pag-uusapan po natin ano ba yung beast na to. Hallelujah. When I was in elementary, listen church, that was not so long ago. Hallelujah. Total control on people seemed impossible. Parang ang hirap na magko-control. But today, it already had happened. Napakalinaw. Kaya ka palang i-control. Kaya ka palang wala ka matapagtataguan. Isang lockdown lang pala sa street po ninyo. Alam ka na, kilala ka na. Inubo ka lang, makikilala ka na. <coughs> Gumano ka lang. Uy, si ano yun ah? Ipaswab yan. Naalala ko po, nung nilagnat po yung anak ko, si Raf. Saan ba si Raf? Ayun. Nung nilagnat po yung anak ko, si Raf. Ngayon, at uh, ito po ay uh, 2020 po, nilagnat po siya. Tapos, mainit, mainit po talaga. Kinabukasan, nilalagnat pa rin. Sabi ko sa kanya, pag ikaw, sabi ko, pag hindi ka gagaling ngayon, magtatawag ako ng barangay, ipapaswab ka. Sabi ko sa Magsaswab test ka, boy. Sabi ko pa sa kanya, maya-maya, biglang bumangon, tsaka naghanap ng pagkain. O, kamusta na? Magaling na po ako, daddy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ngayon, nilagnat si Bert. Ginamit din niya. Palaka, tatawagin baranya, ipapaswab test ka. <laughs> ano? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are now heading exactly to what had been prophesied by Daniel, Jesus, Paul, and John. The word of God is absolutely, absolutely perfect and true. Tunay po yung salita po ng Panginoon. Uh, it would take halos 10,000 po yung chance po, one in a 10,000 po, para mangyari lamang po yung isang prophecy po ng totoo. But in the Bible, the word of God, wala pong namis kahit isang prophecy na hindi nangyari. Palakpangan po natin ang ating Panginoon. Because His word 
is perfect. It is infallible. It is true. Hallelujah. So, okay. So, today, katulad pong binabanggit po, ito po yung isa sa pinakamahaba po na pinag-aralan ko po. Hindi ko sinabing best po ito. Alam ko po yung iba, meron na po kayong mga knowledge po, meron na po kayong alam po about this topic, pero isa po ito, kasi dahil nga marami na po kayong alam, inaral ko po ito para, sa, para at least magparehas po yung ano natin. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To figure, figure everything out, we need to answer the questions. The first one is, what is the beast? Or who is the beast? In Revelation chapter 13, there are three entities showed, each with different or, uh, orders. Meron po siyang kanya-kanyang function. So the first one is the dragon. Di po ba? Sa so verse 13, verse 1, chapter 13, verse 1, makikita po natin, meron po doon yung dragon. Hallelujah. The dragon stood on the shore of the sea. So verse 1. Listen church. Okay. When the Bible uh, speak about sea, sure, hindi po yan talaga Lalong-lalo pag ganito pong prophecy, hindi po yan ang tinutukoy po dyan ay talagang dagat. Diyan lalabas yung dragon. Diyan lalabas yung beast. Hindi po. Diyan po galing yung dito po. Pag sinabing ito po'y crowd ng tao. When you say sure, ito po ay tao. Ito po'y mundo. Galing dyan. Lalabas. Sabi po rito. So, in some other religions, the dragon is being deified and hence worship. Yung dragon. Di pa ba? Di pa ba sa China, masyado nilang dinideify ang dragon? Year of the dragon. Di pa ba? Golden dragon. Ay, di, di pa ba? Hindi po ako nagbibiro. Ano pa? Doon po nga pala kami, nag, ano, doon po kami nag, uh, nung kasal po namin ni Lani, ni Sweetie. Doon po kami nag, ano, doon po kami nag, eh, or, doon po, doon po yung reception namin. No, masarap po yung pagkain. Opo. Huwag niyo po akong i-misinterpret, ha? Binabanggit ko lamang po yung dragon. Okay. Kaya sabi po namin, si Raph noon, nag, nang gano, naglalakad po kami, galing po kami dito sa ano, sabi, sabi namin, gusto niya, nagugutom siya, daddy, kain tayo. O sige, dyan tayo sa golden dragon. Sabi ko pa, Asar na asar sa golden dragon. Sabi ko pa sa ayo. Okay, ano pa? Sa Kung Fu Panda. Sige na kabadod ng Kung Fu Panda. Diba? Kinakasihan siya ng dragon warrior. Sabi niya, dragon warrior. Tapos siya kinakasihan siya ng dragon. Ayan o. Oh. Napanood niyo na po yan. Ang, ang, maganda yung kwento eh. Pero sino po yung dinideify? The dragon. The dragon. Okay? Ano pa? Ito pa yung mga paborito ng mga bata. Dragon balls. Kala niyo po. Napapanood ko po yan dati. Tuwan-tuwa po kami nila Pastor James. Hindi si Pastor James. Pastor James po namin sa Nueva Ecija. O ano na? Anong squadron na? Sa ano yan? Eh? Channel 2 yata. Channel 7. Manunod na kami. Dragon balls. Tuwan-tuwa na kami. Yung isang kaibigan nag-drawing pa talaga dragon balls. Sikat na sikat po yan. At alam po ninyo, pag naipon yung pito na bola ng dragon, alam niyo po yung nangyayari. Yung wish nila ay nangyayari, natutupad. So ganun din. The dragon is being deified. There is a dragon worship. But in the Bible, church, listen. Who is the dragon? The dragon is Satan himself. He is not supposed to be deified. He is Satan. Hallelujah. In Revelation chapter 12 verse 9, the great dragon was hurled down, the ancient serpent. Ancient, nung kapanahon po ni Adan, at saka ni Eve, the devil or Satan who leads the whole world astray. That is Satan. So the dragon is Satan. Malinaw na po sa atin ngayon. Kung meron pa ho kayong laro, kung may mga pinapanood po ho kayong mga dragon-dragon, uh, how to treat your dragon, ayun, how to train your dragon. No, listen. 
You cannot train the dragon. The dragon will train you. If you are not aware, if you are not cautious, the dragon will train you. The f so the next one is the first beast. Hallelujah. Who is the beast? Hallelujah. So the beast I saw, sabi po ni John, the beast I saw resembled to a leopard, but had feet like those of a bear, and a mouth like that of a lion. The dragon gave the beast his power and his throat and great authority. Okay, listen, ganito. Ito yung dragon, ito yung beast, at lahat ng authority po, kung ano yung merong beast, bigay po yun ng dragon, which is Satan. Binigyan niya ng kapangyarihan itong dragon. To overcome even the believers. Lahat po. Hallelujah. So the beast is a man. Hindi po yan yung halimaw na talagang halimaw na halimaw. Hallelujah. The beast is a man. His power and authority comes from the dragon, Satan. In Revelation chapter 12, uh, 13 verse 2, the dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and great authority. And letter B, he is the Antichrist. Antichrist, Antichristo, he is the Antichrist. So meron na tayong tat dalawa. The dragon, the beast, he is the Antichrist. A man of sin meets the exact definition of evil. When we say Antichrist, uh, the first thing that, come, uh, that, that, that comes in our mind is sinasabi agad natin na against Christ. No, it could be instead of Christ din. So pag halimbawa po, meron pong nag schedule na po ng kaligtasan po ninyo, kapatid. Sa July, ano ba yan? 31 ba yan? Na kailangan pong magpaano kayo? December ba? Magpapaklearance na raw. Ewan ko kung nabasa nyo na po. Magpaklearance na kayo para sa inyong kaligtasan. Sapagat siya, raw, siya si Kristo. Church, that is the spirit of Antichrist. Huwag po kayong magpapaklearance, magsabing amen. Baka naman makita ko kayo, pumipila kayo. Tsaka, ano, ano ginagawa mo kapatid dyan? Nagpapaklearance? O kaya sasabihin nyo, pwede po bang pa-delay lang ng konti, malilate ako? Come on, church. That is the spirit of Antichrist. Sabi ng Panginoong Jesus, maraming darating na magsasabing sila yung Kristo. At totoo nga po, may Pilipino, magsasabing sa si Jesus, appointed son of God, nandun, sa Davao. <laughs> Talaga pinakalanan na po ni Mami. Hindi na nakatiis. Hallelujah. He is the Antichrist. Let us see the lawless man. He is the lawless man in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3 to 4. Don't let anyone deceive you in a way or in any way. For that day will come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed. The man doomed destruction to destruction. He will oppose and will exalt himself over everything that is called God or worship or is worship so that he sets himself up in God's temple proclaiming himself to be God. Meron na pong nagsasabing sila yung Diyos. Meron nagsasabing sila yung may likha ng buong mundo. Meron nagkiklaim. But he is not the real Antichrist. Siya lang po yung may ispirito po ng Antichristo. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The beast was given a mouth to utter proud words and blasphemies and to exercise his authority for 42 months. Ibig sabihin po, three and a half years, bibigyan siya ng authority na magsasabi ng kalapastanganan sa Diyos, mananalo po siya. Ito po. Ito po ay during the tribulation period. Natakot na po tayo halos lahat. Before tribulation, the church will be raptured, will be caught up in heaven. So binabanggit ko lamang po ito, just in case. Nasabi niya na parang susunod na, na maiwan sila. 
Alam na nila yung kanilang gagawin dahil narinig na po nila to. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All inhabitants of the earth will be wor or will worship the beast. All those names have not been written in the Lamb's book of life, the Lamb who was slain from the creation of the world. So it also means, ah, okay, ito po ay lahat po sila isasamba. Yung buong mundo po, sasamba po kay Antichrist. Regardless of your status, kahit kaano ang kayaman, hindi ka po pwedeng uubra po doon kay Antichrist. Meron siyang kapangyarihan. Siya po ay merong kapangyarihan political, may kapangyarihan siyang pagiging religious, meron siyang kapangyarihan kung kaya niyang palaguin po yung economy. Hallelujah. Kaya maraming maniniwala sa kanya. Maraming susunod sa kanya. Ay, ito na yung palawas. Nusunod na natin. Hallelujah. Sasabihin nila, the second beast, still in chapter 13, then I saw a second beast coming out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, but it spoke like a dragon. Notice, my friend, or church, ito, si dragon, ito si antichrist, at ito yung sunod. Meron silang parehas po na kapangyarihan na galing kay Satan. The power from a Satan through the Antichrist. And the next one is how this beast speaks. He spoke, sabi, but it spoke like a dragon. Pag nagsasalita siya, katulad nito, itong dragon. Letter A, he will perform miracles. This second beast will perform miracles. Ito na pala yung atin pong relo. Hindi ko po makita po yung relo natin. Okay, ah, pagdating po ng 9.45, sinyasan po ninyo ako. Five minutes na lang. Okay, thank you. And it performed great signs, even causing fire to come down from heaven to earth in full view of the people. Makikita lahat. Paano kayo makikita ng lahat ng tao? Lahat, eh, sabi. Makikita lahat ng tao yung kanyang signs and wonders that will be performed. Paano po makikita? Imposible kaya yon O posible? Church, dami na pong nagla-live ngayon sa Facebook. Nanunood na po yung buong mundo sa Facebook ngayon. Same time, parehas. Dati po yan, 1985. Yes, buhay na po ako nan. 1985, wala pang ganun. Mga balibalita lang noon. Sinasabi, darating si Jesus, 1988. Sabi talaga noon, marami naghanda na talaga noon eh. Yung mga hindi pa ipinanganak. Yes, totoo yun. Sinabi sa amin noon. Takot na takot kami habang nagbabible study. But, okay, today, it is possible, very possible, na makikita ng buong mundo na siya, ito pong second beast will perform miracles. Now, who is this second beast? This second beast is the false prophet. So, tatlo. Okay, tatlo. Merong dragon, merong antichrist, at merong hallelujah merong false prophet. And it performed great signs, great signs. Let there be, bring dead to life. Imagine! Kaya niyang bumuhay ng patay. Maraming maniniwala sa kanya. The second beast was given power to give breath to the image of the first beast so that he, the image could speak and cause all who refused to worship the image to be killed. Sasabihin niya, patayin yung mga hindi mag-worship dito kay Antichrist. Oh, hallelujah. He is the false prophet. There will be a mass deception. Note, they are the counterpart of the eternal Godhead. Eternal Godhead means the Trinity. Father, Son, and Spirit. So there will be an holy Trinity, the dragon, the Antichrist, and the false prophet. It is the perfect counterpart of the Trinity. Oh, hallelujah. Now, 
what is the mark of the beast. At sabi ko po kanina, magtatapos po tayo doon lang sa tanong ho na yon. Para sa Sunday po, magkita-kita po ulit tayo. Magsabing Amen. Praise the Lord. So may I ask everyone na balik po tayo, pag-usapan po natin ito, at mag-aya po tayo, ano ba yung sinatawag na mark of the beast? Church, pinag-uusapan natin ito. Hindi ho para bigyan po ng emphasis itong beast kundi para bigyan po ng emphasis po yung ating Diyos, yung pagiging totoo po ng Word of God. If you are not yet prepared, you have to consider your life. You are to be cautious. Don't get fooled. Huwag po kayong palalamang sa kaaway. Huwag pa tayong paloko po sa kaaway. Hallelujah. Alam niyo po, merong isang daan labang po papunta sa langit. That is Jesus. Magsabing Amen. Wala pong iba. Walang relihiyon, Walang kabutihan po na po pwedeng pumunta magpapunta sa atin sa langit. There is no enough good works, good uh, behavior that would help us go to heaven. No, wala po. Kahit po anong bagay huwi na yan. Only Jesus. Kaya ang ganda nga ng kanta kanina eh. Give me Jesus. Lahat okay na sa akin. At lahat po ng atin pong pinaghirapan po, iiwanan po natin lahat yan. Yung bahay, yung sasakyan, yung pera, iiwanan po natin yan. But, church, ang pinaka-importante sa lahat, just like Haydelin po kanina, itinaas po niya at nakakuha po siya ng gold. So the gold, that we profess, the goal that we aim is yung sabihin po ng Panginoon, well done, good and faithful servant. Church, again, meron isang daan, pero meron pong dalawang bagay na aalis po tayo sa mundo. May dalawang paraan na pag-alis po natin dito sa mundo. The first one is rapture. Sabi nga po natin rapture. Mararapture po tayo. Sino po rito gusto sumama sa rapture? Magsabing amen. Rapture means yung pagdating po ni Jesus, we will be caught up. Magkikita po tayo. Magkakaroon po ng grand celebration, grand reunion. Yung mga inyong kamag-anak na naunang namatay, magkikita-kita po tayo. Magsabing amen. Yung lahat ng kumilala kay Jesus, magkikita po natin yung favorite po nating Bible characters. Magsabing amen. And the next one is death. Kung hindi po tayo dumaan sa rapture, dadaan po tayo sa kamatayan. So the only thing po na gawin po natin maging handa. At paano kung maging handa, Pastor Rex? Magiging handa lamang po tayo. Kung atin pong papapasukin si Jesus sa puso po natin. Salvation means hindi lamang po basta save sa kahirapan. Hindi po yun tungkol sa kahirapan, kaibigan. Hindi po yun para iligtas tayo sa depression yung salvation po na yun. Hindi po ang salvation po na yun na tinutukoy po ay iligtas po tayo sa aksidente o iligtas po tayo sa conflict sa loob ng family o sa anxiety o yung provision. No, it's not that kind of salvation. Ang tinutukoy po rito ng salvation po ay tayo isave po dito po sa impyerno. Magsabing amen. Yun po yung tunay na salvation. Yung aalisin tayo, hindi tayo papunta sa impyerno kundi papunta tayo sa langit. Magsabing amen. And the only way is Jesus. And how? Sabi sa Bible, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You have to say, Jesus is Lord. I'm sorry. If you confess your, with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in, in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Sino rito gustong maligtas, magsabing amen. Na hindi mo dadaanan yung tribulation. Hindi mo makikita na yung dragon. Hindi mo na makikita yung antichrist. Hindi mo nakikita yung false prophet. Kundi makakasama natin si Jesus. But you have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Rapture is eminent. When you say eminent po, any, any time could happen. Regardless of the signs. Death also is eminent. Pwede pong yan ay mangyari po sa atin. But when you are ready, ready po tayo. You know what? Darating po yung panahon. We will get accounted. We will face our Creator and then we will get accounted. And the only thing that matters is, 
have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Tinanggap po ba si Jesus bilang inyong Panginoon at tagapagligtas? If not, today is not a mere accident. Today is not by chance. This is not a chance, but this is an opportunity. God, the Holy Spirit, has convicted you to come today so that you will hear the Word of God. You may be watching right now. It's not an accident. It is God's will that, so that you can hear the Word of God. Listen. I'm going to pray today. And if you are not ready, today will be your day. Today is the day of salvation, the Word of God says. And if you have not accepted Jesus Christ yet, please, please follow after me. Magpe-pray po ako, and itong prayer po na to, make it your prayer. Amen? Amen, praise the Lord. So may I ask everyone, please, uh, magbaw po tayo ng ating pong mga ulo. Hallelujah. The Word of God says, if you confess with your mouth, we have to confess. Confess. Hallelujah. Huwag mong intindihin po yung inyong katabi. Huwag niyo po siyang isipin, ako nakakahiya. No, huwag mo siyang kasuhin. Ang isipin mo, ang iyong personal na relasyon sa Panginoon. Sabihin mo ngayon, kapatid, Panginoong Jesus, ako po ay makasalanan at kailangan ko ng tagapagligtas para hindi ako mapahamak papunta sa impyerno. Panginoon, pinagsisisihan ko po ang lahat ng aking mga kasalanan. Patawarin mo po ako. Tinatanggap kita bilang aking Panginoon at tagapagligtas. Isulat mo po ang aking pangalan sa aklat ng buhay. At magmula ngayon, Ikaw na po ang maghari sa buhay ko. Salamat po sa inyong pag-ibig. In Jesus' name, Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And if you have prayed that prayer with faith in your heart, then you are part of God's kingdom. You are now being born into His kingdom. Amen. John chapter 3 verse 3 says, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So born again is not a religion. It is an experience. It is a relationship between you and God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So kayo po'y malaya sa kasalanan. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. You are saved. The only th yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. May the Lord bless you and